Hello, everyone. Welcome to English with Sophia. Today, we're going to practice listening and understanding English by talking about money. This lesson is perfect for A1 English learners who want to improve their vocabulary and speaking skills. Talking about money. Money is a really important topic because money is a big part of our lives. Currencies. Let's first talk about currencies. A currency is the type of money that a country uses. For example, the currency of the United States is the dollar, and the currency of Mexico is the peso. Every country uses a currency to buy and sell things. Some currencies are very valuable, and other currencies are not very valuable. For example, today, one USD is worth about 22 Mexican pesos. The dollar is more valuable right now. So, what currency does your country use? Prices. Now, let's talk about prices. In the United States, most things are expensive. They cost a lot of money. In other countries, things are cheap. They don't cost a lot of money. For example, in the United States, the average price of a house is about $250,000. But in Mexico, the average price of a house is probably around $40,000. That's a big difference. Prices are very different in different countries. Salaries. Another major difference is with salaries. The salaries in some countries are high, and the salaries in other countries are low. In the United States, salaries are pretty high. Americans need to make a lot of money because life is expensive in the United States. In some countries, people don't need a lot of money to live, but everyone needs some money to survive. Spending and saving money. Now, let's talk about spending and saving money. Some people really like spending money, and other people prefer saving more money. Different people have different habits. My family always liked saving money. My mom taught me to always save some of my money, so today I try to save some of the money I earn. It's not always easy to save, though. You have to be careful with your money because it's easy to spend too much. I know many people who don't save money. They always spend their money on clothes, electronics, vacations, and other things. I spend money on these things, but not all my money. Some people spend all their money because they want to enjoy the moment. I think it's good to enjoy the moment, but it's also good to plan for the future. Investing Another thing that people do with their money is invest. You can invest in many different things like the stock market, real estate, currencies, or gold. Many Americans invest their money. They want to use this money to make more money in the future. In some countries, investing is not very popular, or sometimes they don't have good investment options. You need to be careful when you invest your money because not all investment options are good. Some investments are bad, and you can lose money. Banking. Most people keep their money in a bank. Banks are safe places to store your money, and they often pay interest, which means you earn a little extra money for keeping your money in the bank. Banks also offer services like loans and credit cards. It's important to choose a good bank and understand their fees and services. Budgeting. Budgeting is an important part of managing money. A budget is a plan for how you will spend and save your money. It helps you keep track of your income and expenses. Budgeting can help you avoid spending too much and save for future goals. It's a good habit to make a budget and review it regularly. Debt year. Debt is when you owe money to someone else. Some people have debt from loans or credit cards. It's important to be careful with debt because it can be difficult to pay back. Too much debt can cause stress and financial problems. It's important to borrow money wisely and have a plan to pay it back. Charity. Another way to use money is to give to charity. Giving to charity means helping people or causes that need support. Many people give money to charities to help others and make a positive difference in the world. Giving to charity can be rewarding and fulfilling. Financial goals. Many people have financial goals, like buying a house, saving for retirement, 
or going on a vacation. Setting financial goals can help you stay motivated and focused on saving and managing your money. It's important to set realistic goals and make a plan to achieve them. Money management. Overall, people have many different ways to manage their money. It's important to find a balance between spending, saving, and investing that works for you. Managing money wisely can help you achieve your goals and enjoy a comfortable life. That's all for today. Leave a comment and tell me if you like spending, saving, or investing money. I'll see you next time.